All right, welcome back to our Friday Night Football kickoff special for year 29 of FNF from the Bo Dixon Queen City Jamboree at Gill Stadium. This is the fourth game on the schedule of the Jamboree tonight. This is Bedford versus Alvern. You can see Bedford right there. They are driving. They are the Division I reigning champions. So expectations will be high for them coming into this fall season. It is scoreless right now. This game just got underway a few minutes ago. All right, Mike, so we've talked about the teams. Let's get to the players, though. It seems like each Friday, there's always those guys you just mentioned, yep. their name every week making plays. So every Friday night, we can expect some of these guys that are about to spotlight. Yep. We're going to say their names on a weekly basis. We talked every every week about our, our, you know, our stand-ups from each week, and there were some guys who just were there every single night. Yeah. One guy who we actually featured last year, he's not in this upcoming segment, but Romy Jane from Sauhegan. Yeah. He was dominant all year, and you yeah. know you can expect him to have a, a big career for Sauhegan. The running backs, I mean, there's a kid from Campbell that will spotlight pretty yeah. soon, Scott Herzberger. I feel like every week, two, three, four, something. I mean, he was just putting up huge numbers, so I'm excited about these guys, but also new players yeah. to watch out for this year as well. As we're about you to said Hirsch's name every week last, it was crazy. last year, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, so let's start with the quarterbacks. Grant, look, there are a lot to choose from here, so this is just a sample size of the quarterbacks in the state but here are a couple looking to lead their teams to turn around seasons they are the generals of the gridiron these qbs are ready to take their squads from losing seasons in 2022 to winning seasons in 2023 dover senior Ryder aubin put up ridiculous numbers last year at the top of division one with 1600 passing yards 15 touchdowns <laughs> plus 477 rushing yards and nine TDs on the ground. It was very good coaching. Um, you know, they, they coached me up really well. Um, they, so we have a great staff, so I got really fortunate in that aspect. It's been a while since the Green Wave tasted the postseason. Look for them to make some noise this year. Uh, personally, really, I want to win Gatorade Player of the Year. I want to throw for close to 2,000 yards, run for, you know, another 750, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, that's big goals but I, I'm gonna try my best for it for sure I'm um, as a team like I said I want to win a playoff game that's a big thing I don't think we've won one in over 10 years record wise Manchester Memorial had a disappointing 2022 but with 1,000 passing yards and 15 TDs in the air Connor McFarland showed why the Crusaders have the potential to flip the script in 2023 I couldn't have done it without my teammates obviously uh, they helped me a lot through it all this senior is excited to see what his group can accomplish. Personal goals, uh, try to up on the touchdowns a little bit, maybe 20, hopefully. That's a goal of mine. And for the team, try to go to the state championship and win it all. All right, and now we turn our attention to some of the running backs in the state of New Hampshire. Of course, there are a lot of talented backs here this season. You know, we have a couple in mind, though. <laughs> we have a couple. I mean, back to mention those names every week. These names were standouts, pretty much. We can we can no pick doubt. these these players each week at the end of the show. So check it out. Some of the two two of the top running backs in the state of New Hampshire. Conquer's Ellie Bahuma was first team All State last season. He was a dynamic presence for the Crimson Tide, tallying 1,500 yards and 23 touchdowns. Well, it wasn't just me; it was my team. And you know, without the class of 23, like none of that would have been possible. Going into the 2023 season, Boom is looking to find even more ways to impact games. Make sure like I'm not the only person getting the ball. We can spread it around, maybe play a little defense. Whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'm going to do for them. What Scott Hersberger did as a sophomore was special. The D3 player of the year had 2,200 yards and 29 scores helping Campbell win the state championship. It's not just that I play in D3 and that um, the competition's not good. I want to show people that I'm good and uh, I'm ready to play the next level. Now a junior, Hershberger is stepping into a new role. I'm hoping to be a captain, lead our team, and set up the future generations for success. Success for Bahuma and Hershberger is winning a championship. Everybody's hungry for another one. Nobody is uh, just ready to hang it up and say that's enough. To come out with that state championship at the end of the season, you know, we really want to get there. So, you know, we're going to try to make that happen. All right, good luck to them this season. Let's check back in with our Troy Lynch, who is roaming the sidelines tonight in the rainforest. Is it still coming down out there, Troy? <laughs> 
Uh, no, actually, guys, it's uh, pretty dry right now, which is really, really nice. But we're uh, trying to get an interview with head coach Matt Lee of the Alvern Broncos right now. Uh, it looked like Bedford just scored. He's calling the plays on defense right now. So he's a little bit preoccupied at the moment, but hopefully we can try to talk to him a little bit later on. We know it's his first season. It's a statement year for him. He's got to make an impression, especially when it's exhibition games. You know, every single rep counts. Uh, so, and obviously coming after a one-win season, they have a lot of work to do if they want to try to turn this program around. So hopefully we can talk to them uh, when they come out of the huddle or something like that. Uh, but as for right now, guys, I'm going to send things back to you. All right, Troy, he's busy. We understand. No worries at all. Bedford is up 6-0 right now over Alvern. Still to come tonight, the New Hampshire Tackles Hunger Campaign is underway. How players are giving back and the generous donation tonight. And later, the Patriots play tonight on WMUR. We'll preview their preseason finale against the Tennessee Titans.